Hello everyone, I'm Amir Hussain. Welcome to a new training video. I have already made a video about a utility called PrepChem Source, which can be used to make emissions data for the WolfCam model. There are also other utilities you can use to make emissions data, such as EnteroEMIS. EnteroEMIS is another utility you can use to make non-biogenic emissions data. So in this video, we see how to compile EnteroEMIS and how to get the input data required to run this utility. Uh, for getting EnteroEMIS and the required input data, just in your browser, search WolfCam download, the open the first link, and from this link, actually this is the link that I, I have shown several times in my previous videos. In the bottom of the page, you can find a bunch of utilities and data that um, most of them can be used as uh, utilities to, for, for the WolfCam model. So there are two items here, EnteroEMIS and Edgar HTAP. Edgar HTAP is the emissions data that can be used for EnteroEMIS. In other words, EnteroEMIS extracts your emissions from Edgar HTAP dataset. Before uh, downloading these items, you're supposed to put your name here, affiliation and other necessary data and also the extent of your domain, your WORF domain, latitudes and longitudes of your WORF domain. Uh, I have already, I've already received these items, so I directly go to Linux terminal. Here is the, is the tar file of Antro emis utility. I on Tarit, I go to the directory and inside that directory there is a source directory and uh, you can see a bunch of files, Fortran files and also um, a shell script which is not bash, is another shell which is called csh, different from bash and also a make file and uh, input data and readme there is also a readme file so if you uh, actually inside this readme file there are some guidance of how to build intro emis and uh, if i open it let me open open this readme file intro emis and it has a special section here building intro emis <coughs> if you study this section uh, there is two necessary there are two necessary variables that you're supposed to set them before compiling intro emis those two variables are fc or fortran compiler the variables about fortran compiler and also netcdf dir uh, the variable, the path to the netcdf directory. So I set these two variables, fc equals gfortran. I'm using, I'm going to use the default Fortran compiler of Linux, which is gfortran, and also netcdf dir underline dir equal to um, if you don't know how to set this this directory you can watch the video about uh, installing compilation and installation of the wolf model in that video i talked about i discussed about how to set this directory i have already created this directory this is the directory that my libraries my netcdf libraries are stored so i just copy its path and paste it here so now i have set this netcdf directory variable and uh, now all the variables are set but uh, in the new versions of linux there is some other step that you're supposed to do for uh, 
actually for the uh, G4Tran compilers, versions 10 or higher, you need to set some other uh, characteristics for your Fortran compiler. Uh, for doing that, just open make file in this directory, open make file, and for this Fortran compiler flag or FF flag, these variables that are highlighted, go and find that F flag, that FF, that F flag that is associated with G Fortran because we're going to use G Fortran so we don't touch other F flags which are related to other com Fortran compilers. Just focus on this one and focus on this line. Now you're supposed to uh, add two other switches or two other, uh, let's say, two other terms. What are those terms? Those terms uh, are these two variables or terms. I will add this file, um, this make file in the GitHub repository so you don't need to uh, memorize it. Just you, you, you can just uh, use the file. So I add it G4Tran, I go to the end of line and paste these two terms here. Now it won't show any error when you want to compile it. I save it and uh, for running make antro make antro you need to before that you need to add csh make antro Think something is happening, some problem happened here. Make C S H K. Can't find the Fortran compiler. It seems I have not set Fortran compiler. G four Tran or maybe it was misspelled. I run it again. Yes, now it's okay. And now you can you can see that the antro emis has been created here. This is the uh, the final uh, program that you can use to make your emissions data. And. Um, Okay, in the next video, I will show you how to use this program, this Entro Emis program, to make Borfcam's emissions data and run Borfcam by, by that emissions data.